Dolce Tanya, moon is rising, and we know it's not at all surprising that we're singing in the street, asking everyone we meet to come on home. Won't you come on home? Yes, the world is dark and full of sorrow. Oh! 
Thank you. 
Oh, no. 
ध्यानजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मीत तस्म श्री गुरव नम पंचाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधु नमो महाबदल्याय कृष्ण प्रेम सदाय गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राय फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई हम्बल ऑफिशियंस जंजे लोटस फीट ऑफ माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर परमाराध्यतम इत्तरीदा प्रविष्टों विष्णु पादर सुतर सुमंतर सुतर क्या इशोगर्स एंड द सेम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माई स्पिरिचुअल माई शिक्षा गुरु इत्तरीदा प्रविष्टों विष्णु पादर सुतर सुमंतर सुतर देदान स्वामी महाराज we have began sanatan shiksha very very important if you will know that we are not this body we are part and parcel of krishna and nitya servant of krishna then very soon we will accept the method of bhakti by rupa goswami and very soon by guru shushruvanam by surfing guru like most beloved and following all the principles shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pad sevanam archanam bandanam darsham sakham nyatma nivedanam and also sadhu sang naam kirtan bhagavat shravan mathura varshi mutti sathay ei panchang महाप्रभु फॉर होल वर्ल्ड living entity he is questioning and chaitanya mahaprabhu answering we have discussed in various ways divera saupha nitya krishna das krishna ra tapastha sakti veda ved prakash up till now we have discussed and chaitanya mahaprabhu told that jivat has not come from golok vrindavan from tatastha sakti and there by the influence of maya because he has all the qualities but very minute so maya can cover when he looks towards by chance maya jagat this world at once he was attracted and then a desire come that i so enjoy enjoy all these things and then he came here and then this maya so all he was very far away from krishna in this world and gave to one subtle body and one and that's what we came कृष्ण भूलि से जीव अनादि बहिमो अतएव माया तारे देह संता एंड देन ही केम इन द सर्किल ऑफ एंडलेस वर्थ एंड देयर ओल्ड एज सो मेनी 
dead and so many problems always. He wants to be happy, but we are not happy. Because the old days will come and we will die. With, we cannot go with any pains for them from this world. So we should remember these things. That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. After that, can you? Kahuswar gave Kahumat. Timirandasya Gyananjala Shalakaya Chakshu Unmalitam Jina Tasmaya Shri Guru Vena Maha Guru Vedo Chandraya Radikaya Tadaraya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tara Bhaktaya Namona Maha So you can take the book and see it. <laughs> <laughs> So the jiva is described when he commits that initial aparad of the muk to Sri Krishna. As a result of that aparad, then material desires arise in his heart, and then suffering ensues as an automatic. Um, action. So it's described by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's quoting from uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Bayam dvitiya binivyeshitam syat. This bayam, this fear, will manifest when one is absorbed in material life. It's natural because this is not our nature. How is it possible that fear? which is the antithesis of love and affection, which will manifest as a result of our living a life which is not natural. We are, as Srila Gurudev just described, nitya jivera surupoi krishnera nityadas, that we are servants of Krishna. So when we're endeavoring to be the controllers in this world, the principal motivating um, quality is fear because it's the opposite of love. So this bayam, fear. Bayam dvitiya vinivyeshitam syat isyat uvidasya viparya yoshmiti. That this viparya yoshmiti, I am taking the position of controller rather than understanding I am being controlled. This is all of our disease in this world. When we understand that I have originally. My nature is to serve the Lord. My nature is not to be the master. In that sense, Bhakta Ramya Gita Pasham, Krishna is the only supreme controller, uh, enjoyer. And I have tried to usur uh, usurp his position for countless billions of births. As a result, I have to suffer in this world. And then Tan Mayatayo Buddha. Tam Patyaikesham Guru Devatama. That unless I take full shelter of Sri Guru, who is the embodiment of the spiritual potency of this Sangvit Padini Shakti, how will it ever be possible for me to understand my position? The Jiva cannot understand the spiritual conception through the material mind and senses. It's absolutely impossible. We were discussing, Madhav Maharaj was discussing the other day how uh, you may be able to get oil from sand or, um, or flowers from the sky. Ghee from water. Ghee from water. <laughs> Horns on a rabbit. <laughs> but for one to be happy in this material world is utterly not possible. Srila Vishnu Chakrabari Thakur is saying in the 10th canto that one is feeling lamentation when he's feeling separation from his real identity. So this is 
our situation in this world. And until we um, understand our offensive nature, then how can we possibly realize our true identity? And we can only understand that through association with the Mahabhagava, through service to Guru. Service and association, Sadhu Sangha is the root of Bhakti. Without service, how can there be association with Sadhu? And when one is associating with Sadhu, how can there not be service? So this is the root of Bhakti. So unless this is being cultivated significantly, then how is it possible for the material mind to have that transformation of consciousness, to look to his higher welfare? So Guru, he will explain all these topics to the Jiva to bring him again to his eternal position as Jivara Surupoi Krishnera Nityadas. By Sadhu and Shastra. Krishna has manifested Ved and Puran. And he has told all these things that who are he, what is the relation with Krishna. And then by the mercy of Sadhu, Shastra Kripa and Guru Kripa, Chaitanya Guru Krishna Kripa. We can know that who are we and then we can follow this process of Krishna consciousness. Then, Maya Mukha Jivar Nahi. So, Daivi Eisha Mai Mama Mayai Taratyaya. That when uh, Guru and gives the spiritual potency to the disciple, then he is able to able to overcome this um, attraction to the material energy and again understand his eternal constitutional position as servant of Radha and Krishna. <laughs> In the form of Shastra. Your Guru means not only Guru. All realized Sadhu person, all and Atma himself like Chaitya Guru. In three ways he he what, he sprinkles his mercy to Shiva. And that is why he is telling Krishna more strata, Jiver Hoya Gyan, Ved Shastra Sambandha Vidhi Kriya. Teachings uh, Rochitani gave to Sanatan Goswami. Uh, you are reading from Gita and Charitamrita. This verse number 123 Shasta Guru Vasana Rupe Apanare Janana Krishna Mori Prabhu Prasadi Vira Oya Jana. And later, Krishna Das Kaldaraj here says the faith. But that public condition soul is educated by Krishna through the Vedic literatures, Shastra. 
the realized spiritual master, Guru. And here, Asanguppi means the super soul. Shikta Guru within the heart. Through these three, you can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead as he is. You can understand that with Krishna, is an eternal master, a deliverer from the clutches of Maya. In this way, one can acquire real knowledge of his conditioned life and can come to understand how to obtain liberation. So if you want to overcome the illusion that we've been placed into, then we have to follow the instructions of Shastra and Guru. And what do Shadu and Shastra say? We should surrender the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Ishwara Paramakrishna. Sitchananda Vigraha. Madhavira Dira Govinda Shara Paramakaranam. Brahma is quoting in Brahma Samhita, speaking that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is Krishna. He has an eternal transcendental body. He is the cause of all causes. He has no other cause. He is the origin of all origin. He has no other origin. And his body is unlike ours. It is Sat Chit Ananda. Our body is our Sat, our Chit, Niranan, full of miseries, non eternal, and full of ignorance. So, surrender means body, mind, and words. Everything you place at the lotus feet of Krishna through the agency of Guru. Ultimately, Bhakti means. Initially approaching a self-realized soul, one who knows the truth, one who has realized the truth. By his mercy, by his instructions, one can follow the perfect path which has been cleaned and opened up for us to follow. So by your initiative, you'll come here to hear from a perfect master. Uh, we are still endeavoring, even though we're wearing clothes, uh, that may say something Spiritual, actually, we are also endeavoring to please our Guru. If you please, then you shampusha, verbal pashado, you shampusha, and nagati to gopi. If you please, Guru, you please your spiritual master, then automatically Krishna is pleased. So, therefore, all our endeavors, all of our worship should be first place at the Lord's feet, the self realized perfect master. And then everything will be all right. Why will we overcome? We'll be happy, blissful, and Krishna conscious. Yeah. Has given an example of Vishar Bhagya. Agyana Timanamasya, Gyanjana Savataya, Satsuram Vidikam Yena Tarmai Sri Gurude. I offer my most humble and respectful obeisance to the Lord's feet of my spiritual mentor, Divine Grace, Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, my Shiksha Guru and Guardian, Sri Srila Prabhupada Sri Maharaj, Sri Srimad Gorgavinda Swami Maharaj, and Sri Srimad Sri Srila Prabhupada Sri Maharaj, Sri Srimad A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, to all the assembled devotees, my son, my Shri, and my Shri, and my John, my heartfelt obeisance to all of you. So, in this chapter of Chaitanya Charita Mita Sanatana Chiksha, it has already been described, Sambandha Tattva. What is our relationship with Krishna? Who is Krishna? Who is the Jiva? And what is Maya? So now we're coming to Abhideya Tattva. It is not enough to understand by knowledge alone who we are and who is Krishna. We have to also understand the process. Abhideya means the process to attain our prayojan, our goal, which is the supreme. So in this connection, there's a story which is described. There was once an astrologer named Sarvagna, and he came to the house of a very poor Brahmin. And that poor man was lamenting. And he said, oh, my dear friend, why are you lamenting? 
What is the problem? That I know, because I'm an expert astrologer, that your father has left you a very great wealth. But this wealth, you don't know where it is. I know. And I can help you discover that. So therefore, give up your lamentation and hear from me. So he described the story that once, in, he was saying that in his house, if he was to go and dig on the south side of his house, he can dig, there may be a treasure, it is buried in the house, but if he digs on the south side of the house, he can dig very deep, very hard, and while he's searching for the treasure, so many bumblebees and wasps are coming and stinging him. And with all his endeavor, he cannot uncover the wealth in that spot. In the same way, if he digs on the western side of the house, then there are many ghosts there that will come and disturb him. And he can dig and, and endeavor very hard, very deep, but still, he will not find the treasure there. If he goes to the north side of his house, there's a big black snake that will devour him. And he can also endeavor very much there, and he will not find the treasure. Black out there. So these three directions symbolize the southern side, the wasps and bees are symbolic of the karma kanda section of the Vedas. How a person can endeavor for fruit of activity through so many pious activities, through so much hard work in this life to attain happiness. But he'll be frustrated. He cannot attain the supreme goal of life through karma. And on the western side, those ghosts represent Jnana Kanda section, which means that the impersonalists, they endeavor very hard, they give up all types of sense gratification, except renunciation, and through the their endeavors of their mind, without the mercy of Guru Krishna, they cannot come to the platform of pure devotion and happiness. So they're also frustrated. So this is impersonal. And the north side, this snake is compared to material opulences and mystic yogic perfections. Yoga. First karma, then second heart, yoga, and other. Then he said if you go to the east side of the house, you can dig there very simply without too much labor, and there you will find your father's treasure. What is that wealth? And that wealth is the path of bhakti. Mm -hmm. The wealth is Krishna Prem, mm -hmm. but the the path is bhakti. You will serve Krishna, who is very beautiful. All transcendental qualities are there in him, and he is playing in Braj with Prajapatis and Gopis. Oh, this we will see, and in the end you will have the service of. Radha Krishna conjugal in the guidance of his majesty. So, what is conclusion? The conclusion is that we should give up all other processes for self-realization. And, as is given in so many verses, Sarvapadi Vinir Muktam Tatparatena Nirmalam, Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti, it means Uchate. that Bhakti is superior, bhakti is superior. to have the service of such Krishna. And what is the proof? What is the proof of Krishna? Bhakti is the way for serving Krishna. What are the proofs? Nashadhyatman Yogo and others. Radhika Tadale Krishna Krishna Vata Tadavata No Namaha. So in this analogy told by Sri Mahaprabhu Sanatan Goswami, and Saravagya means the Guru. Saravagya also means Chaita Guru, the Supreme Lord within the heart. Because Mahaprabhu described where there's smoke, there's fire, but this is not always true. 
Maybe someone threw a bucket of water on the fire. There's still smoke, but there's no fire. Therefore, it's some above praman. For example, I can't see something, therefore it's not there. But maybe it's under the table, or maybe I didn't see properly. Sometimes we look for our glasses, but they're on our nose. <laughs> therefore, about Praman, or I could not see it, therefore it's not there. Maybe it's there, you could not see. Therefore, <clears throat> Ingit Praman, oh, where's the pizza shop? Over there. Maybe the guy doesn't know, but it's over there. There were all these nine types of Praman. Then our Acharyas have described, in all this, there is some type of fault, some lacking. Therefore, the real Praman is Shastra Praman or Sabda Praman. Because as the Supreme Lord is perfect, free from defect, he has complete sensual perception. There is, he is free from illusion. He never makes mistakes. He never cheats anything, mm -hmm. anyone. Because the Supreme Lord is free from these four defects, Brahma, Pramad, Vipalipsa, Karanapata, there were his statements in the form of Veda Sastra. These also have these four mistakes are not present. Then we want to understand what is the ultimate Praman, then we have to go to the Vedic scriptures. Because that is the only way to understand what is the ultimate goal of life and the means to achieve it. There in Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna has discussed three types of yoga. Also in the 11th canto of Bhagavatam, Sri Krishna describes the same thing. For the elevation of the souls, Scripture has prescribed the process of karma, the process of gyan, and ultimately the process of bhakti. But in the end, Karma has been refuted as being for the less intelligent. Sri Krishna says, Abrahma Bhuvana Lakwa Puna Avitara Arjuna. By the process of karma, one hopes to elevate oneself to the higher heavenly planets. But even if you reach the topmost position of Brahma Lok, Puna Avitara Arjuna, one will also fall from there back to the cycle of birth and death. There are after thousands of lifetimes of performing karma, then one may develop the intelligence to give it up and adopt the process of Gyan. Sri Rupa Goswami has also said in Upadesha Amrita, Kalme Vyo Parato Hari, Priyataya, Yato Yudukta Gyanina, Tevyo Gyana Vamukta Parama Prema Ikanishta Sata. Sri Jiva Goswami has given the same thing. Out of millions of ordinary karmis, then one may become elevated by the process of Gyan and reject temporary material attainment for the process of liberation. But then after millions of lifetimes of endeavoring for liberation, then one may get the association of pure devotion, of pure devotee, and reject the path even of the ultimate attainment of liberation and achieve and endeavor for bhakti. There were in so many places Sri Krishna has described that he is only achieved by bhakti. In Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says, Bhakti Mama Vajanati Yavadyasma Svatattadaha O oh, Arjuna, I am only achieved by devotion. In 11th count of Bhagavatam, he said, Na Sadhyati, Na Mam Yoga, Na Sankyam, Na Dharma Udavas, Na Swadeyas, Na Tapasitateo, Tiago, Yatir Bhakti, Na Mujitaha. O Uda, Na Sadhyas, I am not achieved simply by reading the Vedic Shastras. Na Sadhyati, Na. Na Sadhyati, Na Mam Yoga. I am not controlled simply by mundane mechanical process of yoga. He is not controlled by bhakti, ah, uh, by, sorry, <coughs> sankhya yoga, a metaphysical understanding of the difference between matter and spirit. He is not controlled by mundane dharma or religiosity. He is not controlled by meditation, but yati bhakti mamo jitha uru, I'm only contri completely controlled by bhakti. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said the same thing. Dharma Atta karma yog nahi Krishna bas, Krishna bas hai tu ika premi bhakti ras. Krishna is never controlled by dharma, atta, karma, yoga, reiki, or anything else. He's only. <laughs> <laughs> raw food diets. He's only controlled by prem bhakti ras, by the spirit of pure devotion. Because. <laughs> therefore, especially Madhvacharya. And the Bhakti Nara Sutra has described Bhakti Eva Purusha, the Supreme Purush, he is controlled only by Bhakti. Therefore, Puman Labdi Bhavato. When the Jiva achieves that devotion, then he achieves automatically all type of happiness. He also achieves the Supreme Lord. What other verses are there?
Bhakti Eka Gagaha, Krishna says in Bhagavatam, I only achieve by I am only achieved by pure devotion. Why? Because all the other processes are material. And see, Krishna cannot be captured by something which is material. Therefore, Bhakti, as Krishna is Satchidananda, as he is free from the three modes of nature, then that devotion which is directed to him is also free from the three modes of nature. See, Krishna describes in Gita. <laughs> what is it? After the process, after I'm liberated, one will one become three from. After that, Krishna describes after many, many births, one achieves pure devotion and come to me. After one, one becomes free from all type of hankering and lamentation. That means after he achieved liberation, then he may achieve devotion to me. May achieve means if he gets the association of pure devotion, pure devotion. The point being is all these other processes, karma, gyan, yoga, dharma, tapasya, giving of charity, performing of meditation, independently meditating, performing acts of hatha yoga like pranam, etc. These are all material processes. And the Supreme Lord, he can never be captured by a material process. Like we're hearing this morning, how Madhya Sora managed to bind Krishna. It's because Sri Krishna is completely transcendental, he cannot be bound by a material process. As the Supreme Lord is transcendental, his personal energy in the form of Bhakti Devi is also not material thing. Otherwise, how it could bind Krishna? Then the conclusion is our ultimate goal, our, pre our process of Abhideya is only Bhakti and nothing else. And that Bhakti, when it's performed in a pure manner, it offers the fruit of pure devotion or Prema Bhakti. Thank you. Krishna Rasvaru Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattam and by other things. Krishna form is superior than anyone. Krishna has not so many kinds of Svaru. Ram, Nishim, Kalpi and others and Chobi, Tautar and others but Krishna is superior than how he is superior. Rungadhyana timidandhasa Jainanjana salakaya Chaksurun milita yena Tatmai sigurave namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances and the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Astrodra Satasimadu Bhakti Vedanta Silo, Vaman Vasai Maharaj, and Om Vishnu Pad, Puriba Jagachar Jagarja, Astrodra Satasimadu Bhakti Vedanta Silo, Narayan Vasai Maharaj. I pay my obeisances, lotus feet of my spiritual grandsire, Nitta Lila Prasham Vishnu Pad, Silo Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Vasai Maharaj, and Nitta Lila Prasham Vishnu Pad, Silo Bhaktan Sami Maharaj. I pay my obeisances all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis headed by Sri Dandi Sannasis. So we have heard from Srila Gurudev and other Vaishnavas that who am I and why he torments, tortured me and we don't know what is lead to ultimate goal. In this sequence, the dialogue between Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sanatana Gosnaipad is going on. Although Sanatana Goswami Pad is asking this question and Srimad Mahaprabhu replied, the main fact is that that Mahaprabhu is inspiring Sanatana Goswami to ask this question for the benefit of the whole world. Just we have heard so many discussions from different different speakers. Srimad ordered me that who is Krishna, what is the Sarup of Krishna? It is mentioned in Chaitanya Chaitamitam by Kaviraj Goswami that Ardhagan Tatta Prajeb Dajendra Nandan Krishna is Harup Vichar Suna Sanatan Ardhagan Tatta Prajeb Dajendra Nandan Sriman Mahaprabhu now describing 
the Sarup of Krishna to Sanatana Goswami path, not only for him, for the whole world, indicating him, just like Lord Krishna giving so many nice advices to Arjun for the whole world. In the same way, Mahaprabhu is instructing to Sanatana Goswami for the whole world. Krishna is Sarup Vichar Suna Sanatana. O Sanatana lives in the Sarup of Krishna. Who is he? Abda Gyan Tatta Braje Brajendra Nandan. He is Abda Gyan Tatta. And he is Brajendra Nandan. So for that, Mahaprabhu has before told that Sarvatra Pramandive Puran Bachane. Whatever you speak, you have to quote it from scripture. For this, there is proof in Srimad Bhagavatam, with a spotless proof, spotless evidence. Badanti tatta vidas tattam yaj gana maddayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavani ti sabdate. Addaigyan, what is Addaigyan? Non-dual supreme truth. All the so many substances are here in this world, why it called Addaigyan? And in Abdha again, it mentions three features, Brahma, Paramatma, Bhagavan. But why it mentions that Brajandanandan is Abdha again, Paratattva? Because everybody's existence depends on Krishna's existence. They have no separate or independent existence. So Krishna is non-real supreme truth. Badanti, who told this? Badanti Tattva Vidas Tattva. Who realized the Tattva? Tattva means Krishna, who realized Krishna and his first time, his name, his form, his quality and first time, they are Tattva Vid. Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattva Yaj Gyana Maddayam. This is Adda again. It has three features, Brahma, Paramatma and Bhagavan. Brahma, this is the worshipped by Ganesh. Just like given and Paramatma worshipped by Jogi and Bhagavan worshipped by devotees. The given example to make us understand this point very clear. Just like if there is any mountain, from here you could not see, it seems that it's cloud. It seems oh this is cloud. If you go a little further, then it sees mountain. When you go close to the mountain, you can see. There are some animals, so many trees, grasses, etc., etc. In the same way, the Brahma is the affluence of Bhagavan. The Ganesh, they could not see anything else, only the affluence of God. So it's called Brahma. And Paramatma. And in Brahma, there is no mercy at all. If there is no person, how can there be no mercy? And Paramatma is living for all living entities. Inside the heart of all living entities as a witness and also by yogis. And Bhagavan, he has all qualities, all good qualities and his nice form, everything is there. So it's worshipped by devotees. So Brahmet, Brahm, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavan is Sabdate. This Adhagan Bhagavatta is Sadat. Sajatiya, Vijatiya, Vedrahit. That means in Abdayan Parvata there is no, no difference about Sadat, Sajatiya, and Vijatiya. So I try to explain what Sadat. Sadat means Sa means own, God means what is inside. That means all incarnation of God, like Lord Ram, Nishingha, Vaman, and others, and Krishna, there is no difference theoretically. Although there is vast difference according to Rasvichar, but according to theory, there is no difference among themselves. All are Vishnu Tattva. That means they have no Sadat Bhed, no difference among themselves. Sajatiya. Sajatiya means with his own. No, sorry. Sadat means, Sa means own, God means inside him. That means inside him means in, in his limbs there is no difference. It calls Sagat. Like Angani Jasa Sakalendriya Vitti Manti, Pasanti Panti Kalanti Chirang Jaganti. He can do any work by his any senses. 
we can see by eyes, we can eat by mouth, we can listen, hear by ear, but Bhagavan can eat by eyes, can walk by eyes, by any sense can do any work of any other senses. Only it is possible for Bhagavan, so it is called Sagat Vedrahit. As for example, when the king Pratap, Father of Pratap Rudra invaded South India and he brought from there Sakshivopal and Bhandaganesh and Ratna Singhasan and he kept Sakshivopal in the temple of Jagannath Dev. After few days, Jagannath Dev came in dream and told, Oh king, so many days I am being Nirjala Ekadasi, like we did yesterday. So, but then how come? Every day we are offering so many bhogas for you. But from where you have been that Sakshivopal? When I come down from Singhasan before that eating everything, means you are by eyes eating everything. So arrange separate state for him. So then king made separate state for Sakshivopal close to Jagannath Puri. So Sagat Vedya, Sagat Vedrahit. Sajatiya, Sajatiya means who is own like all in all expansion of Krishna, like Lord Ram, Nishimha and Bhavan, etc., they have no difference among themselves, all are Vishnu Tattva. And Vijatiya Vedrahit means the, who is not his own, that means not Vishnu Tattva, like Jiva and Jar Jagat, all there is no difference with Krishna. How come? Entity, their entity depend on Krishna's entity. So it mentioned Vijatiya Vedrahit. So, by this way, he is explaining the Krishna Sadhu. Then Mahaprabhu told, Yasya Prabha Prabhato Jagad Danda Koti Katishya Sesa Vasudhadi Vibhuti Bhinnam Tabram Maniskala Mananta Sesa Bhutam Gavinda Madhi Purushanta Maham Bhajami Yasya Prabha Prabhato Jagad Danda Koti By whose affluence, all the Brahmanda can illuminate. Katishta says of Vasudhari Bhimnam, that Brahma Nishkala Masi Sabhutam, and Brahma is told, the Raphaljas of Stonel, and I pray the lotus feet of Govinda. Ishtara Parama Krishna. Then he told, Ishtara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadi Radhi Govinda, Sarva Karana Karanam. Ishara Parama Krishna, as described as before, about different incarnation, there is Yuga Avatar, Manantara Avatar, Sattavis Avatar, Lila Avatar, so many Avatar incarnation is there. After that is told, Ete Chansa Kala Pumsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan Sayam, Indrari Vakulam Lokam, Madayanti Juge Juge. Ete Chansa, which Salabhasya is telling, which I have described as before, Lila Avatar, Mananta, Manantara Avatar, Guna Avatar, Sattavesa Avatar, all these chan, cha Aungsa Kala, some are part of Krishna, some are part of part of Krishna Kala, and Krishna Stu Bhagavan Sayam, Krishna is Supreme Personality Godhead. So, it is mentioned in Brahma Sangeeta, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vikraha, Anadi Radhi Govinda, Sarva Karana Karanam. Ishara Parama Krishna, who is all our God, who is described as before, the all expansion, but who is Krishna? Parama, Ishara Parama Krishna is Paramishar. The Paramishar only apply for Krishna, not for other expansion. Lord or not even in Paravastharu, Lord Ram or Lord Nisimha. Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha is embodiment of Sar. Chit and Ananda in Satchit Lad. Satchit Ananda means Sambit, Sandini Ladini, embodiment of all this in Krishna. Satchit Ananda Vigraha. And who is he? Anadi Radhi Govinda. Every, everything has some beginning, but for Krishna, he is Anadi, he has no beginning at all. And Sarva Karana Karanam, which, I have, which we have seen, everything dependent on cause and action theory. Which in seen cause action, some cause behind this. But for Krishna, he dip beyond cause and action theory. So, Sarva Karana Karana, he cause of all causes and beyond cause and action theory. By this way,
अथवा बहु नाइंते ना किंग जना तबार जना विस्तृपा मिजम किसने एकांग समस्तितो जगत by this explaining more and more with the listen function of Gurudev Lotus League. Hare Krishna. Bansha Talbataru Bhakta Shiva Sindhu Bhai Vasa Kavita Nam Pavane Bho Vasa Nam Pavane Bho Vasa Nam Pavane One song. Maharaja Bhiti Me. Gurudev is coming back in just a couple of minutes. Everyone, please stay seated for the kirtan. Oh, no. 
So in this conversation where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing to Srila Sanatana Goswami about the supremacy of the eternal transcendental form of Krishna, Krishna Swarup, his own eternal form. And from that eternal form, his original personal form called Swayam Rup, there are also many other types of expansions of his own self, like Tad Ekatma Rup, uh, Vaibhav, Prakash, and various empowered incarnations. And these Abhesha, these incarnations are innumerable, just like the waves of the ocean which is ever coming, these unlimited waves never stop. Similarly, within this universe and within all the material universes which are unlimited in number, Sri Krishna has expanded himself in unlimited forms, transcendental forms within this universe. And within the eternal spiritual world, Krishna's original forms are there populating every single planet of the spiritual sky. So this uh, knowledge of Krishna Swarupa, uh, it manifests in the form of understanding all the different expansions and incarnations of Krishna. But the original form is called Krishna, which is called Swayam Rupa. This is the Amshi. That means that all incarnations are expansions of him, and he is the original form of all incarnations. So that very form appears by his causeless unlimited mercy within these brahmandas, these material universes. And when Krishna comes within this universe, he causes his transcendental spiritual world 
Goloka Brindavan to manifest also on the material plane within this world. And in that Goloka Brindavan, his eternal associates also descend here onto this planet. His father, his mother, his cowherd friends, his cows, and Jamuna River, transcendental Giriraj Govardhan. Like tomorrow, we will be celebrating Govardhan uh, Anakut festival under the guidance of our beloved Gurudev, who has also manifested that Vrindavan here in New Braja and that very Giriraj Govardhan just here to here. So that original place of Goloka Vrindavan Dham manifest by Krishna's unlimited potency, his internal Swaruk Shakti potency manifests his eternal Dham on the material plane. And there Krishna sports for 125 years. He stays on this planet, and he, he manifests his pastimes in three different ages. First of all, Balya Lila, as he is manifesting as a very beautiful young boy, the son of Mother Yashoda, and he is stealing butter and yogurt, engaging in so many pastimes. Then after that, he comes into the Pauganda age. He begins to herd the calves, then the cows, and going through the forest, and playing so many leelas and pastimes, and coming into Kaishor age, where he becomes a teenager, and engages in all of his unlimited pastimes, like Ras Leela, Maha Ras, and so many others. These pastimes are going on eternally. They are never coming to an end. When Krishna manifests his pastimes here, as he did 5,000 years ago on this very planet, and he manifested in the land of Bharat Varsha, now known as India, that very Goloka Vrindavan Dham. And for 125 years, he stayed in, in that region. In the beginning, he was in Vrindavan, engaging in his pastimes. Then, at the age of 11, 11 and a half, he went to Mathura. And there, he became a king. And after that, he went to Dwarka, married 16,108 queens, and performed so many superhuman activities and conquering so many kings and demons. And in this way, in 125 years, Krishna stayed on this planet and completely flooded the whole world with transcendental prayer. So, when Krishna wound up his pastimes here, does that mean that they were no longer here within this material universes? No, they are eternally going on in the material universes. Srila Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives an example of the movements of the sun planet. Just as when the sun planet is rising here uh, and going through its cycle of eight different time divisions, going through the day and then the night. So when we see the sun rising here uh, in another place, it is nighttime. And when it is nighttime here, in another part of our planet, they are seeing the same sun, no different sun. In the same way, Sri Krishna, he travels with his eternal associates, with his divine eternal abode, Goloka Vrindavan, and when his activities are unmanifested here, they immediately again begin in another universe, where again he performs his birth pastimes, Janmalila. And like this, he goes through all of his activities, performing them again. So constantly within the material universes, Krishna's transcendental display of his pastimes is going on. Just like the flow of the Ganges River. The Ganga is always constantly flowing, the transcendental Ganga. And in the same way, the Ganga of Krishna's transcendental pastimes are constantly flowing. So in this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enlightened Sri Sanatana Goswami with all the knowledge of Krishna's transcendental forms and his pastimes. So this knowledge of Krishna Swarupa, he concludes that if anyone hears these transcendental narrations, then definitely they will, they will become attracted to uh, serving and surrendering to Sri Krishna, and they will attain Krishna Prem. So we are very fortunate that we are hearing this Sanatan Siksha, these wonderful instructions from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's own lotus mouth to Sri Sanatan Goswami under the guidance of our beloved Gurudev and that we are being enlightened in Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Prem Tattva and all these subject matters that we will hear 
for in the coming few days. Also, Hari Purna, Tama Purna Tara Purna. So Krishna has what is called like almost like a relative existence in the sense that his existence as the Supreme Personality of Godhead when he manifests in Dwarka, it is complete. It is called Purna. Purna it is Tama. In Braja Purna Tam. Yeah, I'm talking Dwarka for Purna. Purna. Yes. So when Krishna manifests in Dwarka, his leelas there, they're called Purna because they are actually complete manifestation of the Supreme Lord. But yet, it is not as much complete as it is in uh, Mathura. There it is called uh, Purnatama, Purnatara, Purnatara, which means more complete. Why more complete? Because of the manifestation of Rasa. Rasa, from the uh, deliberation of Rasa, it is superior there because of the moods of his associates, the Mathura Vasis and the Mathura Ramanis and so forth. And there, Krishna's pastimes uh, exhibit more completeness in terms of his display of Ras and tasting of Prem. But when Krishna exhibits his eternal form as Prajendra Nandan, Shyam Sundar, Yasoda Nanda, Radha Kanta, and uh, Gopi Janna Ballava, when he is in Braja, Vrindavan, he is called Purnatama, most complete. Because only there, as Srila Gurudev told, where he is Purna and where he is Purnatara. Purna is Dwarka, Purnatara no. is in Mathura. In Vaikuntha Dham, he is oh. Purna. And in Puri Dwar, Mathura and Dwarka, he is Purnatara. Ah. In Vaikuntha, so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to tell how Krishna is beautiful. What are his qualities? In Praja, what doing? So, Prem Previja. Krishna is a Jate Kakela. You can take the next chapter or same chapter. After my Satanga Navat Pranam, thousand times the lotus feet of Asmadi Pramurad and Muguru Parabama, Omish the part, a stoter of Sisma, Rupano Vitari Vari Bokiran, the Narayan Goswami Maharaj. After my Pranam, to my Sivupanu Gaudi Guru Varga and to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So, Sri Titani Mahaprabhu, he began to describe to Srila Sanatana Goswami the opulence of Sri Krishna, how powerful he is, how he has more opulence than any other incarnation. We know that when Lord Brahma he came to Vrindavan. He tried. He wanted to see more interesting pastimes of Sri Krishna. So he stole away the boys and the calves. Or he thought that he'd stolen them away. But actually, he just came under the influence of Sri Krishna's Maya. 
He never really stole the boys. They were still there on the bank of the Jamuna. But at the same time, Shri Krishna performed a pastime of looking, where are my friends? Where are my, my friends? And he thought, what can I do? How can I return home without the boys and the calves? My mother will be upset. So he manifested all the forms of all the boys, exactly their, their shapes, their cloth, their sticks, their bugles, their flutes, everything, and all the cows, and played for one year. After, in the meantime, Lord Brahma, he went to Brahma Lok, but when he got there, he was locked out. Knocked on the door. Let me in, let me in. And the doorman came and said, get out of here. And he thought, what happened? See, Krishna had manifested a form of Lord Brahma, sat on his throne, told the servants, an imposter will come impersonating me. When he comes, throw him out. So then Lord Brahma, he thought, oh, I've made a mistake. And he came back down to Vrindavan. And he saw all the boys are there, all the calves are there, everything is as it is, as it was. He thought, but I thought I put the boys and calves in a cave. So he looked in the cave and they were all there sleeping. And he thought, what's going on? Is he moving the boys and calves around? So with two heads, he looked on the bank of the Jamuna and with two heads he looked in the cave and saw that there were two sets of boys and two sets of calves. Then suddenly, all the boys who were playing with Krishna, they manifested four-handed Vishnu forms. And every single form actually had Kostuba money and the, the mark of Shivats, which means that they weren't residents of Vaikuntha. They were actually the Supreme Lord himself, in, manifesting hundreds of times. And Lord Brahma, he saw earth, water, fire, air, ether, all the elements personified were praying. All living entities from the demigods at the top of the universe to small blades of grass were glorifying Krishna and, and doing kirtan. And when Lord Brahma looked at this, he became overwhelmed by the immense opulence of Sri Krishna. So he said, Jananta eva janantu. There are some people who say that they know about God, but as far as I am concerned, I will remain silent. Because his form, his qualities, his pastimes, all of these things are beyond the reach and understanding of my body, mind, and words. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he told Sunan Goswami, there is no comparison to the astonishing opulence of Sri Krishna. And by hearing it, the dirt within the heart becomes all washed away. So, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught a verse to Sanatana Goswami. He said, Swayam Tvasamyati Sayastrayadisha Samraja Lakshmapta Samastakama it means that the Supreme Lord is the Sri Krishna. He is the Asamurdhva Tattva. No one is equal to him. No one is greater than him. All of his desires are fulfilled by his own internal potency. And all of the rulers of the universe, millions of Brahmas, millions of Shivas, millions of Indras, they come and they fall at his feet. And when their crowns, the jewels on the tips of their crowns, touch the ground at his feet, they seem to sing the hymns of the Vedas and glorify him. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uttered this verse, describing the unlimited, endless ocean of Sri Krishna's opulences, within the ocean of that opulences, the Madhurya, <coughs> the sweetness of Krishna, began to awaken within the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Sri Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to Sanatana Goswami, Gopa Vesha Venukara Navakishwar Natabara. The original form of the Supreme Lord, he is in Gopa Vesh, dressed like a coward boy. Venukara, he holds a flute. Navakishwar, he's eternally teenager, adolescent. And Natabara, he decorates himself like a, a dancing actor upon a stage. Mahaprabhu explained that this very sweet and human like pastime, that is called Naravat Leela, human like pastimes, are the highest pastimes of all the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said in this verse, Swayam Tasamyatishyas Trayadisha, Trayadisha, Sri Krishna is being called the Lord of Three. So what does it mean, the Lord of Three? So first Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained, Samanya Artha, the general meaning, the Lord of Three, means that Krishna is the Lord and origin of three Purusha avatars. Gavadakashaya Vishnu, Karadakshaya Vishnu, and Kiradakshaya Vishnu. He said this is Samanya Arta, the general meaning. 
But then he said, there is Madhya Artha, a middle level of understanding. That there is the Lord of Three means Devi Mahesha Haridama Shute Shuteshu in Goloka Namni Nija Damni Tale Chatasya. That there is a place called Goloka Vrindavan. That is the highest dam. And Krishna, he is the Lord of Devi Dham, the material world, Mahesh Dham, Vaikunt um, Dham. Then Mahapu said, but there is Gurharta. There is a very confidential meaning to this Trayadisha, the Lord of Three. He said that in the highest planet, Golok, there are different Pakos, different dimensions. There is, in that Golok planet, the Leela of Dwarka, that is one, the Leela of Mathura, that is two, and then in the innermost region of the Golok planet, there is the Leela of Brajagoku. In Brajagoku, that is, oh, that Braj, Goku is also known as Goloka Stita Vrindavan. There, the highest pastimes take place. Therefore, we say, Jaya Jaya Jwala Rasa, Sarva Rasa Sarv. Parakya Bhavi Jaya, Brajaya Braja. In that Braja, there is Parakya Bhav. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we began to explain to Sanatana Goswami that in Vrindavan, when Sri Krishna plays upon his flute, then the sound of his flute goes through the air. And it's just like a bird. Sometimes the bird flies through the air and makes a nest in a tree. So the sound of Sri Krishna's flute flies through the air and makes a nest in the ears of the gopis. So that they become obsessed with it. Day and night, 24 hours a day, they can do nothing but remember the sound of Sri Krishna's flute. It drags them forcibly from the laps of their husbands. It causes the knots in their clothing to become loose. And they become mad with love of Krishna. And as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was speaking all these confidential things, to Sanatana Goswami, he said, actually, I never intended to say these things to you. <laughs> it was the, by the mercy of Sri Krishna. Because when he began to explain the opulence of Krishna, according to the verse, Swayam Adisha, as he described the vast opulence, then the sweetness awakened in his heart. And Mahaprabhu, he began to drift off into relishing the beauty of Sri Krishna's flute playing and the love of Raja Gopis. He said, I never meant to say this, but anyway, Krishna has been merciful to you and he inspired me to speak these things. And in this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bestowed the unlimited mercy of Raja Prem upon Sri Lashmi <coughs> and through him upon the whole world. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remembered. Oh, how beautiful Krishna was. How sweet his qualities were. And then he remembered one shloka of Srimad Bhagavat, Bhagavatam, Atatayad Bhaman, Anhikananam, Shruti Jugayate, Samapasatam. Kutila Kuntalam Shimukhan Chate Janabudi Chata Baksha Krishna. Oh, Krishna is how beautiful, how lovely. Atajya the Bhavan. When he, Krishna, in the morning going to cowherd, and when in the evening he is returning. With thousand and thousand go um, cups and thousand thousand wal wal sakha. Oh, he's playing on flute, and at once Gopi is coming out of their house. Nirgam Sarunam Avala Pati Bhundra Punya, and they began to do arati of Krishna. Arati Krishna understands. By what thing? By their eyes, loveling eyes. Huh? And Krishna what did? Oh, by his eyes, oh, he accepted that arati. Atati jad bhaman anhikananam tuti jugai. And then Gopi see how beautiful this. Why Brahma has made this? Only two eyes and weak. He is not qualified. 
she had given only two eyes and also the and this oh always coming down coming down so he is foolish if i am brahma you can die i am brahma i can show you how what to see so if i am brahma then i will make no pala nothing and not only two eyes
So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna came in the form of what? Why to realize? Oh, how beautiful myself. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. Oh, he became very, very passionate. He had two. He has told in the end, Kama Gayatri Mantra Swarup. This Kama Gayatri is Krishna himself. You should know. Gopal Mantra, Krishna Mantra is Krishna also. And it gives the process that Krishna is my most beloved. As he is beloved of, of the gopis, oh my also. So you are all. Always think like this. But how to have this love by this, this thing? Then Kama Gatri will have to chant. Don't neglect. Like, like. And in what way he is telling? Kama Gatri mantra hai Krishna Rasparu. The 
Duke of Arthur, a transcendental form is Kaim Gahasim. We have 24 and a half syllables. The Krishna also. J. Akhar Chandrahai Krishna Kari Udai Sri Jagat Kaila Dhanna Krishna Chandra Like Moon. So Krishna 40 is being 24 and a half angst are like Moon. Oh, this is Moon. Oh, they are 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, and he will tell. Sakhi hai Krishna Mukha Vijaraja Chandra. It means the moon. How? Ashtami Chandra, because he came in Ashtami. So like this, very beautiful. Krishna Bapu Singhasan. Oh, this is like from our his body. And on that, oh Krishna, all these things are sitting. Dui Gand. So, so this is Krishna Mukh. This this is one. Uh, one and two ganda. These are two. Then it becomes three. A say to you, Purna Chandrayani. They are Purna Chandra. <coughs> Lala Tev Astami Bindu. This Lala covered by hair. hair. This is Astami Chandra. And this is half. Tahate chandan bindu shev ek purna chandramani. Kling. He is telling. Ka la hi anushwa. Also, this is one chandra. And karanakha. And how much? Four and half. No, no. What? Mukha chandra? Chandra Bindu. These are four. And Karanak are Padanaka. Twenty. Then how about what we can? But what in this place? Ka, Ma, De, Va, Ya, Bid, Va, He. Who is half letter? Half syllable. Heart. Who? Pancha Maksha. This is Pancha Maksha. Kling, Ka, Mo, De, Va, Ya. After this is half. And this is Lalate, Lalat Chandra Bindu. Lalate, no, Ashtami Hindu. Ashtami Hindu. So, if you will chant, remember, with four <coughs> Sraddha. Complete faith. Faith. Then Krishna will come in your heart. Surely. So don't neglect what Guru Dev has given mantra. From Brahma Gayatri to Hare Krishna, we should chant daily three times without anything. So Krishneshwaru, first Brahma Gayatri transforms when it is in matured, matured then it becomes Kaam Gayatri. So you should know these things and try to Chant and meditate, Kama Gatri, Krishna, 
कृष्ण मंत्र गोपाल मंत्र If you will not follow all these principles, you cannot have Krishna or Krishna. Go, Brahma. Hare Krishna. Shiva 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 Shiva. Chaitanya Charita Pratam Shiva. Shiva Shiva Tam Goswami Pada Shiva. Go, Brahma. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Let's share an interaction I had with Gurudev right before this class. It has to do with the art and the book table. And I asked Gurudev, why is Navadeep Dham project so important to you? And he said, this Navadeep Dham, this land of Mahaprabhu, is Radha Krishna combined. He said that from all over the world, Lacks and lacks of people will come, and they will receive the mercy of Mahavru and Radha Krishna. Gurudev said this with so, looking into my eyes, with so much conviction, overflowing with compassion. Our Gurudev, he wants to save the whole world, and you can be a part of this vision. You can fulfill the desire that's within his heart. If you go just right down there to the book to the book table and the art table, you you buy you purchase these beautiful G clay that were just made. You purchase posters. A hundred percent will go of your money, of your energy, will go towards this Navadeep Dham project, and this will please Gurudev so much. Also, the same goes for the book table. All the profits go to all of Gurudev's project. So please. Whether you're going to do book distribution or you want to sponsor those who are who have the desire to do book distribution, please be a part of Mahaprabhu's prediction that in every town, in every village, Krishna's name will be there. Start with your town, please. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You should know that Bhaktivedan Swami Maharaj. He Translated so many authentic books, and thousand and thousand, he did publications all over the world. So I also want that my disciples and others, they should distribute my books. That each and every person of the world, world they should know Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his philosophy. So I request you all that. My, I want that. I want to see book table of oh, empty. empty. <laughs> so you should help. You should buy and give it, distribute to others. It will be a very great service. Gaur Pramod. <laughs> Thank you.